So for our printmaking project, you can see I already have my design sketched out on my paper. And if you have something that needs to be reversed, you could draw it the correct way and then trace it with a Sharpie like I'm doing and then we'll just flip it over. It's a lot easier than trying to write it backwards. So feel free to do that if that makes things a lot easier for you. So now I need to transfer this. So I flipped it over like I said I was going to so that my image will be backwards. I'm still using my mechanical pencil. I know a lot of you have mechanical pencils as well. Just push your lead down and then you're going to go through and you're going to trace everything so that it's pushing onto your styrofoam plate. You don't want to push too hard because you'll rip a hole in your paper, which isn't a big deal if it happens, but just make sure you're not pushing too hard. We can go back over it if it's not um, deep enough, which you'll see me do here in just a second. So here you can just barely see what I've done. So I'm still keeping my lead pushed in on my pencil or a dull pencil works too. And I'm just tracing back over those to make them a little bit deeper. I'm not pushing so hard that I'm putting a hole into my plate, but I'm pushing deep enough that the ink should not fall into those spots. So the ink comes in jars, it's basically like thick paint, and I usually use the back of a spoon and scoop it onto a different type of plate. And this is a brayer, it looks like a paint roller. If you're the first one to go, you'll notice it doesn't completely cover it, and that's okay, it'll be fixed in just a second. You don't need a ton on there, but you wanna cover your whole plate and you wanna go in both directions so that you're covering the whole thing. So now you're going to get your piece of paper and you're going to very carefully flip your plate over. Make sure once you set it down, you do not move it. And you just need to push on it and make sure you push everywhere as evenly as you can. You don't want to rub it super fast and then very gently peel it back. Now there's something I meant to do on my plate and some of you may need to do this and some of you maybe don't. So if you want something to stay white and not have ink on it, like my target symbol, I want it to stay white, I can go through and just kind of color over it with my dull pencil or no lead in my pencil. And you'll see how this will look different when I print it this time. Make sure you cover the whole thing. You don't want it to look really thin like it does there. You gotta add some more ink so that it covers the whole plate. And you'll see it's not going into that part for the most part, where I colored in with my pencil. And then we're still gonna flip it over, you're gonna push down. You'll notice my plate was stained from the last time, that'll happen, that's okay. And then now I can see my target symbol.